Welcome to another video. Hope you are keeping safe. Can we start? The greater white-fronted goose is a species of goose related to the smaller and lesser white-fronted goose. It is named for the patch of white feathers bordering the base of its bill. In fact, albifrons comes from the Latin albus, white, and frons, forehead. In Europe, it has been known as the white-fronted goose. In North America, it is known as the greater white-fronted goose, and this name is also increasingly adopted internationally. Even more distinctive are the salt and pepper markings on the breast of adult birds, which is why the goose is colloquially called the speckle belly in North America. They have bright orange legs and mouse-colored upper wing coverts. They are smaller than gray lag geese. As well as being larger than the lesser white-fronted goose, the greater white-fronted goose lacks the yellow eyering of that species, and the white facial blaze does not extend upwards so far as in lesser. The male is typical larger in size, both sexes are similar in appearance, grayish-brown birds with light gray breasts dappled with dark brown to black blotches and bars. Both males and females also have a pinkish bill and orange legs and feet. Greater white-fronted geese make a variation of sounds, but notably the most recognizable is the high-pitched cackle. There is a distinct breaking of the note from the first cackle to the second. Now, let's listen to them. Beautiful, isn't it? Weather conditions are a key factor in the annual breeding success of white-fronted geese. In the Arctic, the window of opportunity for nesting, incubating eggs, and raising a brood to flight state is open briefly, for about three months. Arriving in late May or early June, white-fronted geese begin departing for fall staging areas in early September. This means that a delayed snowmelt or late spring storm can significantly reduce the bird's reproductive success. Thank you very much for your interest. We will meet again soon. Take care.